Hi, this is Rabbi Young. Thank you for tuning in to the weekly video email. This week's tour portion is a double. It's Behar Behukotai. And it not only concludes the holiness code that we've been reading for the last three weeks, it also concludes the entire book of Leviticus. Now, Leviticus is an interesting book of Torah because it's the shortest. It's also the one that deals with the laws and rules that mainly deal with the Levites, hence the name, the priestly families from which the Kohanim, the high priests come. The Levites who are not Kohanim are helpers. They're the ones who work in the temple. They're the ones who do the the day-to-day work in the holy space. And as such, they don't have a land holding. They have a portion of everyone else's land holding. So lots of laws have have to do with how a Levite would maintain their 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 life, their food, their the the temple itself, the way they present their their own face. This is re- we're recording on Lagba Omer, so I have shaved and a haircut today. So how lucky for all of us. Um, and and everything that that a person does in their life is is critical to their status in biblical times as a Kohen or a Levite or an Israelite. And the book of Leviticus deals with things like dietary laws, um, business laws, how much a person is valued back in a time when there was slavery and indentured servitude, uh, how, how to treat people in civil disputes and in, in other legal disputes. It runs the full gamut of how to live one's life in addition to how the Levites should maintain the temple and what kind of sacrifices are offered and how they're offered. I think the reason it is the first book anyone would learn as they are starting to study Torah is that it's the smallest. And as the smallest, if you have a learning capacity that only gets you through one book of Torah and all of your learning, at least you get a full book in. And, and, and Leviticus is the easy one to do it because it's shorter. But also with that holiness code that I mentioned a moment ago, the idea that if you don't get any other book of Torah into you, to know how to be holy, how to distinguish ourselves from other peoples, how to be a light to the nation. That is critical to Jewish life. The things that we do that mark ourselves as special, as different, whether it's just learning regularly with other Jews, whether it's lighting Shabbat candles on a Friday night, avoiding pork and shellfish, or any of the myriad things we do to distinguish ourselves, it, that difference is our sanctity. And knowing how to display these differences and live these differences is what makes us a holy people. So as we conclude the book of Leviticus this week, I hope that you are reveling in your differences and enjoying time with loved ones and friends celebrating the things that make us all special. Take care. Have a great week.